using the date and time in Python tutorial part five, find the duration between two dates. So uh, let's uh, say, for instance, we want to find out uh, how long it's been since the the birth of the World Wide Web. So um, let's say it's called that birth. Yeah, here we go. Equals, and that was on the uh, was the sixth of August, sixth of August, and it was 1991. There we go. Okay, so we want to find the duration between then and now. So let's get now, so now equals, in order to do this, we need to use the date time module. So we need to import date time, and we do now equals date time dot date time dot now. And what all this will do is it will create a date time object with all the details about the time right now. Okay, which is there, it's the current time. But what we've got at the moment is you've got the now time is that, the birth time is still in a string format, which is no good. We need to have these converted to the same format so that we can do some kind of calculation. So how do we do that? Well, actually, it's really, really simple. All we do is we're going to do, uh, there you go, let's call it then. Oh, no, we can't do then. Can we do, is then a reserved world? No, that's okay, good. Uh, then equals, there we go. And we do date time dot date time dot strip time. There we go. Just like we did in the same way that we did here from the reading a save date from the file. And all we do is we say, okay, uh, we give it first of all, we give it the name of the variable that contains the actual date. So that's the birth. And then we give it the template for the format that it's in. So this particular one is day, month, and then the year there at the end, 1991. So we do percent day, and then a dash, and we do percent month, and then a dash, and then we do percent, and it's got to be a capital Y, because uh, a lowercase y, means um, like the short format of a date, like just 91. There we go. And there we go. So now hopefully we've got another date time format. There you go. So the 6th of August, 1991. We don't know exactly the hours, so we're just counting it from, the you know, from midnight really at the start of it. So now what we need to do is we need to calculate the time from uh, now from then. Okay. So the way we do this is we go... Uh, the elapsed time equals, or duration, whatever you want to call it, equals now minus then. There we go. And what has that done? Well, it's done something pretty clever, actually. It's created as a date time, um, what's known as a time delta object. And what it's done there is it's specified exactly how many days, seconds, even microseconds, it has been since the start of the internet, um, which is, uh, sorry, the start of the World Wide Web, not the internet. And there you go. And if you want to know, okay, well, how many weeks has that been instead of days? Well, you can obviously do the usual maths. You can just do elapsed dot days and just divide it by seven. There we go. So it's been one and a half thousand months, uh, weeks, so weeks since the uh, since the start of the World Wide Web. Uh, you could do approximately the number, uh, number of months. I think you'd actually have to work out exactly the amount. I think it'd be like, would it be 31? It'd be about 31. Thir no, it'd be about 30, thereabouts, 29 or something. There you go. But it's been about three, uh, 346 months, or if you want the years, uh, then you just divide by 365. It's been 28 years and a, 28 and a half years since the start of the World Wide Web. So there you go. That's how you calculate the duration between two dates. All you do is take whatever date that you need and convert it into a date time object using the strip time. Uh, and then you can get the time from now if you want, just using the date time dot date time dot now. And then just do a simple bit of Python math to work out the elapsed time. And you could do loads of clever stuff with it. 
Okie dokie. That's the end of the date and time in Python tutorial. Uh, if you've got any comments, drop them in the box. I will put all of the code that I've got uh, in the comments. And I'll also put links to some of the, um, the tutorial bits that I've used so you can get the extra references. Okay, thank you very much.